Look at this RV. This is a different style one for sure. But the thing I have a question about is I really don't understand why he had to park right next to us. <laughs> We're out here boondocking and you can see most people park far away. <laughs> but this guy, he uh, decided he liked us for some reason. Because there's a lot of room out here. And the interesting thing is his buddy is parked across the road. And there was plenty of room to park over there, but he wanted to park by us. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> David with Tigner Adventures. Um, I'm up early. <clears throat> we are in Tucson and we are leaving this morning and it is raining. So, um, just getting things ready to, while uh, Ninette gets a few extra uh, minutes of sleep. And uh, then we're gonna get onto the road and uh, this uh, little boondocking spot here in Tucson called Snyder Hill has been a pretty nice place, but boy, it uh, gets popular. Uh, I mean, it gets filled up pretty easily. So uh, just be aware of that. Maybe find some place where someone can't park right next to you if they come in and, I, I don't know, do you go up and say, hey, what are you doing, you know? <laughs> Move away. <laughs> so. Well, our first stop of the day, we are at Kroger getting gas. Uh, this is Fry's in uh, Arizona. And gas here is $3.69 a gallon, but because of those points we got um, on our last video, uh, we had uh, 4,000 points. So we're using 1,000 of them today. That gives us $1 off per gallon but we also have the Kroger credit card so we get an extra 55 cents off. So gas right now is $2.14, $2.14.9 here at Kroger. And uh, I don't know, this pump is uh, <laughs> pumping very slow. It's gonna take a long time to hit 35 gallons. So anyway, this is our fill up for today and then we'll move on to the next thing. We got quite a few uh, places that we're gonna go today. It is windy as can be here and, and cold. <laughs> so I'm kind of shaking out here. But uh, we have a lot of stops to make today, so we're going to have some fun and see some quirky little things. Well, we left Tucson and we are about 4,000 feet. It is cold up here, I'll tell you. <laughs> it was cold at Fry's, just the wind alone, but the wind is howling up here. And man, I'll tell you, we are at a cool little place. We're going to check it out. <laughs> Look, we have found the thing no i don't know what the thing is but uh we have found it and we're gonna go check it out so i have to tell you there are signs all over the place as we're coming down here it says exit 322 but the gps took us out 318 and i wasn't really paying attention other than the fact that there wasn't any signs i thought well that's kind of strange but we thought oh well maybe it's just a different way for rvs come to find out doing quirky Quirky uh, Arizona and pulling up the stuff. Some of those uh, things that are out there don't have the right GPS coordinates on them. We went to the wrong GPS coordinate. We're gonna check out this little roadside oddity. Uh, one of the things that uh, kind of, I mean, we're going by those quirky uh, internet, you know, stuff on the internet and whoever put that entry in that we decided to copy and paste, you can see right here on our, um, on the website it shows this GPS and if we look at the one where we're physically here this is the actual GPS so now we've learned something so it also had the address I probably should have checked the address against the GPS coordinates because the GPS coordinates was down a dirt road very difficult and very very washboardy uh, so we had about six miles of washboardy road to go down. So that was really a kind of a pain. But hey, we learned something. Even though we got yeah. lost, went the wrong way, if you do go down that 318, it's a nice you know, road down into town, around and everything. And so if you do follow that uh, down that way, look what we found. <laughs> Look, it's dinosaurs and horses. It's a ranch. I didn't horses. I it's not the dinosaurs. It's a rattlesnake ranch. <laughs> uh, looks pretty cool. So hey, we got something out of that little adventure, other than you know just the the 
the washboardy <laughs> road. road. They so, tested it, uh, our whole unit on what's going to uh, fall off, what's going to yeah. roll out. <laughs> Yeah, things bounced around just a little bit. Man, I had to slow way down in a couple spots. I thought the whole rig was going to shake apart. You know, remember that saying that they say that, you know, every time you move an RV, it's like an earthquake on wheels? That's exactly what this was. This was so. a five point. Yeah. <laughs> All right, as we walk in here, you can see they have a very large store here, a gift store. Uh, one of the things about uh, this place is they have signs. They have a ton of signs as you're going down the highway to get here. So that is pretty cool. It kind of reminds me a lot of last year when we were at Wall Drug. And uh, they've really taken that to heart here to get people to stop and check things out. Man, they have a little bit of everything here. So, but the thing we're interested in is actually checking out the thing it's a museum so we're gonna go check this out it's five dollars to get in nice colorful short hoodie oh nice colorful hoodie this is not nice colorful if you don't want color if you just want black and white there you go yeah i like color though color's yeah. my thing mm. but i can't buy everything that's true we live in an rv but we want to check out the thing. So here is the booth that we're gonna pay and go on inside. All right, so Ninette has found her friend. Nice silver guy. So this is all about um, aliens, dinosaurs, all kinds of cool things. So we're gonna check it all out. This alien's actually riding the dinosaur because apparently they were friends in here back when the dinosaurs were here. Sir Arthur, Conan Doyle said, once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. What if, what if all the stuff we've been told throughout our lives was not true? That's hard to believe. Ha! Nope, not really. <laughs> so we are entering the exhibit. Everything in here is based on what if We've been lied to all our lives, which isn't hard to imagine being true. So we're gonna see what's all in here. They've really made some nice uh, museum out of this whole idea. They've been here since 1965. Oh, and they've just been remodeled. Looks nice. Oh no, Ninette is going to get eaten by T-Rex. Look, the aliens over here are fighting the dinosaurs. Can I take you home as a pet? <laughs> well, maybe, but I don't think you'll fit in the motorhome, but maybe on top. No, I can run behind. What if human history as you know it is a lie? All right, this is the coolest thing ever. Look at that, 1849 RV. Unlike today, man, if you had one of these things, you were thought to be rich for sure. Now they look at RVers and think, if you're living in an RV full time, there must be something wrong with you. How many of your friends go, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they just don't quite get it. We love our RV life. It's the best adventures ever. So the idea here is the aliens blew up the earth <laughs> as far as killing off all the dinosaurs and then re-inhabited the earth with people and this is showing the history of the world now so of the earth it has all these cool things all down through here really done a really nice job with this museum and what if this 1937 Rolls Royce was really used by Winston Churchill and that Alien was his chauffeur. They can make themselves look like people, you know, so maybe Winston Churchill was an alien too. So what if our books, TV programs, websites, and technology come from an outside influence? The human race seems to think we know everything, but even the most intelligent scientists make new discoveries every day.
And just think of all the things that have been discovered throughout history too. I'll tell you, there's a lot of cool things that have been discovered. You wonder how they figured that stuff out years and years and years ago. I'm thinking they were influenced by aliens. This is pretty interesting. This is the uh, last exhibit in this tour. So we're gonna check it out and see what it looks like. But you can stop the video and re read that if you'd like. So what is it? It looks interesting. It looks like a mother and daughter or a mother and son laid to rest. What do you think it is, this thing? How about the rattlesnake over to the side there? Well, that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was definitely a quirky little thing. It's definitely worth $5. <laughs> yeah, $5, you know, and actually, uh, let's see, they, they remodeled the museum back in 2018. Before that, it was a dollar. It's amazing that the prices are so low. And then they did all that work on there and all they charge is $5 to go see it. So well worth it. Um, we, Dinosaurs are cool. <laughs> yeah, a couple of years ago, we went to uh, Roswell and we have a video on that and everything. I really like the whole premise of this and how this worked out compared to um, that. I mean, that was the idea was of fun. Roswell and the aliens, all of it was fun. but this is a whole nother take. So someone took something, an idea, and made this whole thing out of it. And it is pretty cool. It is definitely well worth stopping and seeing yeah. the thing. The thing. <laughs> we, we made it. We are in Texas. But boy, I'll tell you, if you look here, you can see that we've gone through some pretty windy areas yes. going through New Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually had a couple extra stops we were going to do in New Mexico that mm -hmm. we, we uh, bagged them because, man, the wind and the dirt. I mean, if you just look around here, yeah. you can see bad. how much dirt is in the air. That is not smog. The wind's blowing 40, 50 miles an hour. So there's no smog here. It's just all dirt. And we but, had a little problem. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> so we, we've had this problem the last time. Let's see, it was in was Nevada, in Nevada. Yeah. with 40, 50 mile an hour side it was winds. six years ago, but yeah. we thought we fixed it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but anyway, um, had to uh, work at getting the awning back in. The awning started coming yeah, out. Wasn't out as much as- <clears throat> Last time. I mean, last time it was like four feet bellowing in the wind. And yeah. It was out, I heard it. And I saw yeah. it, I said, pull over. It actually- so um, it only about a foot or so. Yeah, last time it, it um, ripped the awning just a little, about yeah. six inches. I had to tape it up and sew it. So this time we caught it, I think we did before any damage. We won't know until we uh -oh. roll it out completely, but- uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, okay, we gotta take a break. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's coming. So anyway, we, we got the awning back oh, in. I just taped it up. What's happening is the wind hits the side of the RV so much that it bounces the, uh, even though the awning is locked. locked, it's bouncing it. And so then the, it just starts unraveling it somehow. So anyway, there is something wrong with the actual locking mechanism that locks the turning portion of it that I need to look into a little bit on that, but... Uh, but MacGyver, uh, he rigged it up. Yep, oh so if God. you look here, you can see it's done. <laughs> we just had a little bit of, but you can, you know, you just, know, just here on 9 video. Gorilla tape. <laughs> yeah. Fix anything. <laughs> yeah, it used to be duct tape, now it's nice gorilla tape. tape. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell on 9 video that she was taking of that, that um, it was really, windy. really windy. Oh, look, At least here we've got the uh, mic and the Mike is doing, you know, for the most part, cuts out the wind for the, um, so you can hear us. And so anyway, th we're done for today. We got uh, some fun stuff to do tomorrow, but it'll just kind of depend on the wind. We're just yeah. at this point where it's windy this next few days. We are headed to Dallas right now. Mm -hmm. So that's where our end fun. game is going to be, is to get to Dallas. And we're just trying to do some cool little things in between there but we're going to be staying at rest areas for the next couple of nights and for the tonight we're at the texas welcome center here um just barely it's just outside of el paso so anyway we are having fun that's all that Tansy's counts happy to be done for today yeah it was a long day well tansy what'd you think that was kind of a rough ride wasn't it she goes i need more treats than that yeah she <laughs> She, I don't know about that, she says. So, 
Yeah, that, that was, was pretty rough. That was pretty rough. So we're going to go ahead and just close this video out. We had too many adventures today. So we're going to go ahead and close that out. And we'll just uh, hopefully see you guys down the road. And if not, on our next video. So take care. Bye. <laughs>